Welcome finally to this video. So happy Tuesday to everyone out there. Let me fix this. There's all this stuff on my screen and I don't like all that stuff on my screen. Much better, now I can actually see myself even though I should be looking at you guys. If you're new, I'm Tam. And I hope you enjoyed to subscribe. Not I hope, you should subscribe, right? And then if you are returning, welcome back. You're so sweet. Gotta cut you guys up, it's Tuesday at one o'clock. So just to give you a little rundown of my morning. So today I had a doctor's appointment at 10.30 that ended up taking an hour. First things first, if you're new, I am 30 weeks pregnant. So that explains a lot. <laughs> I had a doctor's appointment today and I've been raving about how fast and easy all these appointments have been. So I had an appointment at 10.30. I get there, I'm like, if anything, I will be out at 10.45, 10.50. This is like the bi-weekly checkup, so I've been going every two weeks now. And they don't really do anything, but take your blood pressure, check your weight, and listen to the heart rate of the baby. And that's it. So if anything, like, I've been in and out in like 15 minutes. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go real quick. I'm not gonna eat, I'm gonna wait till I eat when I get home, da 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 da. Y'all, when I say, the one time I don't eat breakfast before, they're running an hour behind. Big, big, big mistake. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to like bash them. They're not horrible. I'm not gonna go leave a bad review. They were just running behind today. Breakfast was good. It was great, actually. Um, I attempted to make a caramel macchiato. I made it a little bit too sweet, though, um, for my liking, but it's actually really good. The fact that I can make this now at home i guess so i wanted to actually share with you guys really quick i'm getting all cozy and stuff <laughs> i wanted to share with you guys really quick a life update what's been going on things like that so as of last week last week was my last week at work before becoming a mom and like i said i'm 30 weeks so i have about two months left 10 weeks something like that yeah so Last week was my last week at work. Not to say a lot. God is moving in mine and my husband's life, marriage, things like that. And this is pretty much like a whole transition transitioning season for us. Not working was a hard decision for me. I'm not going to say it was something that I just woke up and I just did. I contemplated for weeks <laughs> to be honest i contemplated for weeks deciding when was the best time to stop should i even stop this and that and after a lot of prayer a lot of talking to god and you know of course brian's encouragement and prayers and conversations with him and things like that yeah i decided to go ahead and some might call it maternity leaves i call it transitioning into being a stay-at-home mom because after the baby's here, um, I'll just say, I'll just see what God does. And I just felt deep down in my spirit, being a mom and having to go to a job was just not my desire whatsoever. It's just way more important for me to be at home with our child. I wanna be here physically. I don't wanna have to worry about daycare. I don't wanna pay for a daycare. I don't wanna pay for a nanny, babysitter, none of that. I just want to really see God move and see him provide and see what else he has in store for me and my husband. So these next couple months is pretty much just like a transition for me. Um, just relaxing, one, taking care of myself, taking care of my body, my baby, 
getting ready and prepping for the baby. Like we have like the baby shower coming up. We got family and friends coming in town. You know, afterward, just kind of like getting like, just getting things ready, you know, making sure we have everything, organizing the room, everything like that. And just me as well as just kind of getting in a routine of taking care of my home. Yeah, so that is all I kind of wanted to share. Just kind of wanted to give you guys an update of life. So today is going to be pretty chill for the rest of the day. I didn't work out today because I have a really weird pain in the back of my back. I woke up this morning at like probably 4 or 5 a.m. I can't remember what time it was, but I just had such a sharp pain in my back. It's just pregnancy related. I'm not worried about it, but I just kind of wanted to like rest my body today. I'm going to pretty much chill today and don't have much going on. I'm gonna do my nails. And that is actually a priority today because they're getting too long. They're getting way too long, so I wanna cut them down, do some cute. You guys, look how pretty my flowers are. So I never had this many flowers in my home at once, but these flowers are from my job. Um, the owner got these for me last Friday whenever I was leaving. Look how pretty they are, they're so pretty. And then these are my Mother's Day flowers for my husband. So I think I just might have to start getting fresh flowers. I think, I think I'm just turning into that mom who just likes to have fresh flowers in her home every week. <laughs> yeah, so I'm about to get my nail stuff out and start my nails. It's 120. My nails always, always, always take a long time probably at least two hours. It'll be a minute, but I'm just gonna sit here, turn something on. By the way, I need some show recommendations, you guys, because the days when I just kinda wanna relax, I don't be having nothing to watch, nothing. So if y'all have any show recommendations or movies or something, let me know. But yeah, y'all will see me in a bit after I set up for my nails. All right, you guys, so here we are. First things first, I have to do, take this polish off. Now these are not my natural nails. I put tips on. You guys can see my natural nail is right there. Um, I put tips on because they were all breaking. So I need to drill this off. I can't do anything until I take this red off, which I'm tired of it. I have my drill here and I'm going to take off this polish. Then we'll move on to filling it in and then polishing after, so. So this is what my nails look like, I, yeah. So I use this Kiara dip uh, system or whatever. I have a video I did a long time ago, maybe like three years ago or something like that, but that's what I do on my nails. The last time I did them, I rushed it, so that's why you see some, like they're not like that smooth, but they'll be okay whenever. I polished them. But yeah, so I just did like a little fill and cut them down just a little bit. Now I'm gonna polish. All right, you guys, so this is what my nails look like. Um, my hands look ashy, so don't mind that. But yeah, so I just did like a really neutral color on the base and then blue on the side and then like another slight light blue if you all can tell and then the other hand i got a little spontaneous and i did the opposite so i did light blue with the dark blue line It's after breakfast. I had a great morning so far. I uh, woke up at like 7.15. And I don't know why, that's just really early. 
I never really wake up that early ever, but this morning I woke up, I felt pretty good. So I went ahead and got up. We're getting our day going. And yeah, so now it's like 10, 12.30, not 10.30, it's 12.30. Showered, put a little brow and mascara on. Bump is bumping. So we're feeling pretty good, but now I'm gonna make some coffee because I didn't have any when I ate my breakfast. And I realized I never showed you guys my new coffee machine that I got. So I wanted to make an iced coffee with you guys. So this is the Ninja. I don't even know what it's called. I just know the brand is Ninja. And this was recommended by some of our friends. So I had a Keurig and I was looking for a new coffee machine because my Keurig was starting to like really get dingy on me. So I was um, in the hunt for a new machine. I was gonna get an espresso just because that's what the girlies are doing right now on TikTok and stuff. But they actually talked me, not talked me into it, but were telling me how good a ninja was like this actual coffee machine because really whenever you're doing like Nespresso and Keurig you're really paying for like those pods but really you get like fresher and better coffee whenever you like brew it yourself and things like that so that's why I went with this ninja I got a really 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 good deal on it getting used to it because at first I was like I don't know about this <laughs> because it's so different than a Keurig first things first I have to brew not brew, I have to grind some beans, so I'm almost out. And then I'm doing iced coffee. This is not, to me, it's not that strong of a coffee, so I use two of these big scoops, and this scoop thing actually like sits on the side there, so real convenient. So I scoop out, it's hard to do this with one hand. So you got a we got our coffee in there. This is the cup I'm gonna use, is my iced coffee cup from Starbucks. I think I'm gonna be fancy today and add some caramel sauce. I don't do this often at all because this is not the healthiest for you. Voila. So our cup has ice in it, so with iced coffee, use i use this big size cup or extra large cup and then it has the actual over ice option and that's it and then it lets you know whenever it's done so whenever it's done it has a drip stop here just kind of close it so it stops dripping and then afterwards you just add whatever you want well this is one of my favorite creamers it's just a caramel oat milk creamer i like oat milk in coffee because it's very creamy and I just kind of like estimate I don't really measure and that is it so we got you a homemade iced coffee for the free all right friends and family so I have just finished filming a video so I just filmed like a little pregnancy update I did a I actually, this is my second time filming this. The first time I did it, I just felt like it was way too formal. It was way too structured just because I was like reading notes and I had things written down and things like that. So I kind of wanted to redo it. And it was just kind of like a pregnancy update. It wasn't like a second trimester or third trimester, none of that. It was just kind of like an overall update. Yeah, it's been a productive afternoon. It's 2.45. And I debated on either filming or going to Target, and I'm glad I filmed. So, so yeah, so I commend myself for making a responsible adult decision. Yeah, so for the rest of the day, I will probably go ahead and start editing this video. Hopefully, I can get a lot of it edited and either get it up tonight or tomorrow. And my husband's calling, so I will see y'all soon. <laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday and we are getting our hair done today. I look tired, but I'm not actually just need to eat. Yeah, so I'm at actually Curl Envy Salon. And this is a salon I come to whenever I need my hair trimmed. And hold on. Mm -mm -mm. 
I'm in my husband's car. He doesn't have one napkin in his car. What's up with that? Like, guys, just don't think about the, the fine details. Anyways, yeah, so I'm getting my hair trimmed this morning and this is the salon I've been coming to like I started coming here last year my third time coming because I only get my hair trimmed like maybe twice a year like every six months or seven months or something like that so yeah that's what I'm up to today it's 10 45 and my appointment is at 11 so I went to Starbs because what's a hair appointment without Starbs you know <laughs> also um, it's kind of far from where I live it's like 45 minutes and there was no traffic today usually it takes about an hour so I left like a lot earlier <laughs> I left at like 9 30 I think but and I wanted to give myself time because like you just never know in Atlanta with traffic and people so yeah, so I'm about to eat real quick, and you guys will either see me in there, or definitely you will see me later on, and I'll show y'all what my hair looks like. guys so it actually is five days later it's Tuesday and I realized I never showed you guys really what my hair looked like and I just kind of wanted to show y'all and also give you guys proper exit to this vlog so yeah this is five day curls I think it actually looks super super cute she always does a good job always um I know it looks a little bit short but it's because whenever you know you trim your hair it does shrink up more but Definitely needed the trim and um, my ends are so much healthier. It's gonna be so much easier whenever I go to like detangle and stuff. And also I'm excited cause I'm gonna try out a new product combination. Um, she used a gel on me that she was telling me about. So but I'm definitely gonna go um, to Target and get it and try it out for my next wash and go. So yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you guys really quick and i think i'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog here so if you enjoy definitely give me a thumbs up subscribe join the family and thanks for watching i will holla at you guys later in my next video bye guys see you later